brings us now to our final presentation uh, before we have our questions and answers or any comments that people wish to make. And this is to uh, Sister Greta Fernandez from Italy, who will speak to us about advocacy and human trafficking. And uh, the time is short. I appreciate that advocacy is a very broad area, but uh, um, Greta will, will, will pick out some salient points. Um, Greta is the um, mission secretary for her congregation, the Missionary Sisters Servants of the Holy Spirit, and also serves as the executive secretary of Vivat International, a faith-based NGO at the UN in New York and Geneva, comprising 11 religious congregations, promoting healthy policies and protection of human rights and life and dignity. Over to you, Greta. We can't hear you speaking, Greta. Sorry about it. That's Can fine. You... Okay, okay. So I would like to start about a word of caution because Renate is a religious organization. Renate cannot be doing directly engaging in lobbying whereas Renate can always prepare people by training, by providing material and information for, for advocacy and for lobbying. Uh, but at the same time, all of you before me shared about different task groups and your work. And this is in many ways directly or indirectly part of Renate's advocacy. Uh, so, there are three things I would like to share. First is the identification of advocacy concerns. Uh, this is from different task groups. You know, you identify, you bring them to the Renate, Renate forum, uh, especially to better chart patterns and trends to make sense of uh, the broader issues. Uh, one of the success is uh, the task group on legal assistance, which came forward in Renate because of the many Renate task groups or members um, brought the concern to Renate saying that there is lack of legal provision and this gave birth to the law task group of uh, Renate. The two aspects of uh, advocacy concerns could be one is collection and collation of con concerns. The second one is collation and analysis of concerns. The first would help the Renate to better identify what supporting data is required to delineate the features, scope and depth of those concerns and thus provide a fuller picture of the problem of human trafficking and public policy response. Second one will help us to create smart policy proposals and develop response to the specific concerns that have been identified. Uh, this is an example of uh, OLS sisters uh, from Ireland. And the third is uh, some of the possibilities for the future, what Renate can do, and it is a kind of uh, must to do, that we develop a bank of advocacy concerns articulated within a human rights framework. This would be a useful tool for Renate in our advocacy for uh, sound public policies. And also this would help us to establish uh, for Renate members to identify and record specific concerns that encounter us in our work against human trafficking, either on an annual or a an biennial basis. And the third is, uh, as many of you task groups have spoken about uh, need of assistance, uh, now, we also advocacy task group or advocacy in general, we would also need the assistance of uh, technology. So for example, develop a template for identifying concerns in terms of human rights and the consequences for both the right holders and for the duty bearers. And a final word on advocacy, I would like to quote Archbishop Gabriel Katia, uh, without a strong international commitment to ensuring 
that the benefits of technological advancement are shared by all, women and girls in particular will fall further behind in our increasingly digital world. These words were present, quoted or said on March 9th at the 67th session of the Commission on the Status of Women. And I thank you for this opportunity and special thanks to Anne for your assistance. Welcome. Well, that was keeping to the point. Full marks go there now to Greta. For, thank you. For, thank you very, very much, Greta. Really